Hey everybody, welcome back to another business analysis video. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about top five mistakes in requirements elicitation and how to avoid them. Now, as business analysts, if we don't draw out the, the requirements properly, the solutions cannot be identified. The solutions for the business cannot be identified properly. So there are a few things that you need to consider as a business analyst doing your requirements elicitation activities. Now, like I mentioned, the top five mistakes to be aware of as a business analyst doing your requirements elicitation meetings. Number one, not identifying all your affected key stakeholders, missing out important stakeholders during your requirements elicitation um, activities. So if you miss out any stakeholder um, or you identify your stakeholder late, it may lead to incomplete set of requirements. You may have to revise the list of requirements that you already have. So it may lead to revision of requirements and the most important, it will result in increased project cost and time. You're gonna waste money, you're gonna waste time, you're gonna waste the, the expected delivery time for the project will be highly impacted. So as business analysts, you really, really need to identify who your key stakeholders are and try not to miss out anybody um, so that down the line, you don't have to spend extra time um, trying to figure out and solve these sort of issues. Number two, not asking probing questions. As business analysts, we need to keep asking questions further and not just accept the one answer for the from the stakeholder. You need to keep probing and seeking out your requirements till they're unsplittable, till you reach the point where you can't really ask why, okay? And so many newbies assume that stakeholders will provide everything they need from the one request for the BA work. This is just requirements gathering, right? So if you are truly eliciting requirements, you need to dig deeper, you need to push further, and you need to keep probing and asking more questions so that you can extract detailed requirements from the stakeholder's mind, the tacit knowledge, the knowledge that the stakeholder is not able to express. You need to help them express that knowledge and so that you can have complete requirements and again, avoid revision and save cost and save time. Number three, not using a combination of requirements elicitation techniques. Now, there are various requirements elicitation techniques such as interviews, workshops, observation, document analysis. As BAs, we need to identify which out of these various requirements elicitation techniques to apply in order to um, draw out our requirements. Now, I find that a lot of BAs fall to using interview as one of the main requirements elicitation um, technique. It's one of the most effective, but you also need to have good domain knowledge uh, as well as ask the right questions during these meetings. Um, however, please be aware that there are various other requirements elicitation techniques that you must have in your BA toolkit. Again, such as the document analysis, the prototyping, the observation. Um, I think that senior BA should also try to look at applying brainstorming workshops and surveys. Um, not just senior BAs, all BAs at various levels. So just be aware of these various requirements elicitation techniques that you can combine uh, and apply during your requirements elicitation practices or activities. Number four, not confirming the elicited information, the elicited requirements that you've gone away to document or analyze. You haven't confirmed it with your stakeholders. So as business analysts, once you've done your talking with the, with the stakeholders, that's not all you have to go away and organize, tidy up, and then send that document, that information you've gathered or elicited from the stakeholder to that stakeholder to review so that you can confirm that you have the right information, that you have all the information that they want to express and so that the stakeholder has the opportunity to share more details or make some corrections. Um, the requirements engineering framework sets 
five core activities in establishing your requirements um, and these include your requirement solicitation, your analysis, your validation, um, your documentation and your management of the requirements. I've covered this in a masterclass within the business analyst membership space. If you'd like to access that video and learn deeper knowledge on requirements elicitation or requirements engineering, all the activities and processes involved within that so that you can apply requirements elicitation better, click the link below to join the business analyst school membership. Now, number five mistake that we make as business analysts doing requirements elicitation is not understanding the underlying business need. Now, this is actually the top thing we need to do as business analysts um, doing our business analysis approach, which I also have a video on here on YouTube to watch, learn about the business analysis process model, the things that we do on projects at which stages. So the first thing that we need to do is really understand the organization, understand the underlying business needs before we then start to identify and speak to stakeholders. So one mistake that business analysts make is really not understanding. Um, we need to understand that the organization's environment keeps changing according to the external and internal um, environmental factors. This is how the organization identifies changes that will help them be better, that will help them improve. So this leads to the identification of business needs at the strategic level. So as business analysts, one of the most important part of our work is identifying business needs, okay? Defining those business needs. So you have to really understand and define them just before you begin to identify your stakeholders and elicit your requirements. So that's it for today's video. Top five mistakes to be aware of before you start your requirements elicitation. I hope today's video has helped you in some way to add value to your business analysis career. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this content. You never know who it might help. As always, I'll see you in my next one. Peace.